The annual onslaught of holiday traffic is upon us as folks gear up to drive over the river and through the woods for Thanksgiving. But most recently, some out-of-town drivers told us traffic signals in the capital region seemed a little strange. And plenty of Facebook friends agreed. So I took a list of some of the most irritating intersections to the folks at DOT for an explanation. Remember the Fireball Run? It was a cross-country road race that stopped in Schenectady recently. Some of the drivers told us the timing of stoplights in and around the capital region seemed a little strange. The out-of-towners couldn't get specific with streets and intersections, but you sure could. I went on Facebook and asked friends and fans to share what they feel are the most annoying traffic signals they got stuck at on a daily basis. The most common, 890 in Broadway in Schenectady, 155 at Central Avenue in Albany, Northway, exit 9 or Route 146, Central Avenue at Locust Park in Albany, and several intersections along Hoosick Street in Troy. Is this light here, DOT's? This is ours. DOT spokesman Carol Breen says all of the lights on our list are maintained by the Department of Transportation, each of them busy intersections, particularly 890 at Broadway in Schenectady and Hoosick Street in Troy, handling much more than just your ordinary four-way traffic. We have traffic engineers that try to coordinate as best as possible with the amount of traffic, where the traffic is coming from, where it's going to, and what other signals are in the area. We try to make them work as best as possible. Breen says every light the DOT maintains is vehicle actuated, sensors determining how long a light is green or red. They're underground? They're underground underneath the pavement, so you can't see them at all. Will it ever totally skip a green cycle if there's nobody waiting at all? It can. Breen adds that engineers reviewed all of the lights sent in by CBS 6 viewers and found them all to be working properly. Sometimes it feels like you're hitting all the red lights, but um, we do try to make it so that as much traffic can get through as possible as quickly as possible. If you see unusual congestion in an area, you can contact DOT to request a traffic study be done to see if something needs to be changed. Breen said on occasion, those actuated traffic lights can malfunction, requiring a reset.